At White Station, the progress continues. The Spartans improved their win total by two games last year. They're hungry, right? They're figuring out that, hey, you know what, we can play, right? And when you get that experience under you like that and you got good leadership on the team, uh, you know, they really believe that the sky's the limit. We had two really tough scrimmages and we walked away from that saying, okay, all right, okay, all right, man, we're here. We are better. We know that we're better this year. A strength of this year's Spartan team, the offense where experience and potential return. On paper, I think offensively we'll be a little bit more ahead of the game and the reason being we have more guys returning. Uh, we had a really good defense last year um, and we lost about eight of those starters. All right, so I don't care how you shake that, you know, it's hard to replace eight starters offensively, especially up front. We got a lot of guys returning. Three-year starter, started as a freshman, at least about six games. Uh, Justin Jones, left tackle, really, really great footwork, strong, high IQ. So he's going to be really an anchor uh, with the senior Desmond Brock. I have a couple of athletic guys that's going to be able to help us. Uh, one is Jalen Webster, uh, and another one is Brian Bratcher. Amazing leadership whatever you need me to do type of player, uh, you know, who will sacrifice his body at all costs. My running back, Michael Brown, he's gonna be really, really good. Really got committed himself to the weight room, uh, committed himself to the film room, getting stronger. Um, Michael Holmes, uh, my defensive back, senior, you know, he's playing with a purpose uh, more than anything. My linebacker, Dylan Bolden, uh, he's playing with a purpose. He's getting highly recruited right now. And then I got some young pups, sophomores, man, it's gonna really make a difference. Uh, Antoine Jackson and Braden Washington. They're actually getting D1 offers right now. I think we have the potential to be a playoff team, definitely. You know, I mean, it's a black and blue league. There, there's no rest in 6A football uh, over here. So we're definitely going to have a, a task every week. You know, even our non-divisional games are going to be difficult. But I think if we play football, keep our head down, stay consistent with what we're doing and stay healthy, uh, I think we'll definitely be uh, in the running to be a playoff team. <laughs>